Good morning. So today I'm going to continue uh, working on Stumpy Pixie. Um, what I want to do is carry on adding um, a way of controlling whether a Stumpy Pixie auto starts on login. Um, at the moment, um, it sets it and you have to use system settings to decide whether it's going to start or stop, uh, whether it's going to start on login. Um, and I want, I want to add a, a UI control to the actual main settings um, screen, uh, primarily because you don't get that system level integration when you're using a snap um, and other systems. I think things like at the moment, because the way it's implemented, you don't get control um, with KDE, but I'll probably test that later on. Um, so, um, Let's get to it then. Uh, I need to get back and find out where I was yesterday. So yesterday we had created the sort of global scope um, auto start uh, variable that the app will use in the main window and so on. Um, we had set up um, the basic connector so that if the settings change, um, we update our variable um, and we set the variable uh, on activation as well from the settings. And um, the settings are stored in a sort of uh, system level um, schema. And uh, what else have we got here? So the actual update stuff. So we have a scenario where at we can we can do a couple of things on the command line. So we have an auto start um, command line. Um, option um, and you can pass um, on off or status um, is that showing there? yeah on off status um, and depending on what you do there it's going to go and it's either going to just update and the auto start setting to true false or go get the auto start setting um, and also when the app starts for the first time in a session, it has to go and uh, get auto start as well. Um, at the moment, anyway, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep that functionality because of the connector that I just put in up above. But we'll have to check that. Um, so at the moment, if you're not showing and we're starting for the first time, then we get auto start and hold on to the session. Okay. And then we go back to bait, which is where that trigger is at the moment. So, so far in the get, um, we're checking to see whether the auto start exists. Um, and if the setting, the global setting, which won't be set yet on the CLI start. Hmm. Uh, we don't want to auto start, right? So if we are not wanting to auto start and the auto start doesn't yet exist yet, there's a file for that. It basically creates a desktop file that does the auto start. Um, we don't want auto start and its file does not exist. We're done. That's good. Auto start and auto start exists, does not exist. Updated to true because that's the first time anyway. If we're doing command line. Hmm. 
Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an all there. Okay. So if you show the UI, it will do a get auto start. Good. But but it won't have got the global setting yet because that happens in the activate. Hmm. Don't really want to move that. Yeah, it's a one-time thing. First time that the app runs, rather, goes into memory. It's going to set that up. But that's going to happen later that we need. Okay. It's interesting when you come back to a bit of code your mind changes and how you might do things. Um, okay. I guess. I guess. We could hold on, is it gonna? If we're doing If the app is actually starting, we're going to activate eventually. So why are we doing that there? Do we need it? And any other option? Start, stop, hold, start, status. I don't think so.
Okay. Okay, what I'm thinking... ...is... Don't need to do the get auto start there. If I'm now going to be getting the setting when we activate. and then updating as appropriate to refresh the file and or remove it based on the setting. And then in, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Let's try. So, very first time, come in, activate, do the get there. Because this is either Yeah, because we've got the global. We now check the file, because this is really get all to start file status. Yeah. And then if the auto start if it changes we want to update it. Try that so set up the path. Does it exist?
if auto start is not so if it's false and we don't have a file we're good return false if it's true and we don't have it update the auto start file and set it to true basically create it return that we've got it At this point we know we've got a file because yeah because if either of those if both of those drop through then we've got to have a file because auto start can either be false or true So we don't know what it is yet, so assume false. Get create a key file. Go get the settings from it. And return the setting. That's a little bit dodgy there because I did a little research last night because in yesterday's session I had um, the snap version run in elementary and when I is that right? Did I turn it off? Yeah, I turned it off from the CLI. So this little entry in the file is off. No, it, didn't, it didn't actually stop it from restarting uh, and it turns out that that's basically just not been implemented if the file exists and the snap has been set up to use an auto start file um, it'll auto start um, but I don't know what will happen if I remove the auto start file while the config says hey I've got an auto start I don't know whether that will actually trigger it not to so um, I'm going to check that get this up and running oops So false there but it is running so stop it it's definitely gone
remove that. It's definitely gone now, isn't it? Yep. I think the um, system system D unit will still be there. Oh, don't want an anchor chain. And... Oh, it's gone. That's interesting. It's not it's nice to start. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So it might do it then. This will be good. So if that file isn't it there, with luck, Snippet Pixie will not come up on this. Elementary 6 version with just a snap of Snippet Pixie. Don't know why I always use minus i. Cool. Okay, that's good. There's those, and they're still not there. Now, if I do um... now at the moment, the version that's in here is the released version, and. That is going to auto create the auto start file as soon as I query for the status of the auto start. So if I do this, um, auto start status, I'm just asking, what's the status? It's on. We know that's not true, <laughs> but it is now. Um, so if I look at, yeah, it's stuck it in there. So that's what got to stop at the moment. It's kind of self-healing at the moment, which is the wrong thing to do because it doesn't know that um, this release version doesn't have an actual setting for to start. It just has that file and that controls it. And we know with a snap, we have to remove the file. So we have to use a an actual setting to control that. That's cool. Okay. That's good. It's, at least we know that we're moving the file does the job. So. So here. That'll be a lie if it's a snap. And we've set it to false. In the settings, global settings. But we know that also doesn't work. So it doesn't matter. If we can still get the file. Yeah, okay, that's good. So that'll work. That's fine. That's fine. So Gale's start should work as intended there. So self heals here. Let's do the healing. Okay properly. So we come in and we're saying, right, I want a new file, maybe. Return up on the XA. Okay, 
So let's assume we are creating it. We come down, create the file. Remove the other stuff. Okay, done. All right. If we are turning off the file, uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, okay, so there. We set yay or nay global. Okay. All right. So we're turning off. we can return here once we've done the stuff so If the file doesn't exist, we're done. All right, so actually, if the file does exist, delete it. Otherwise, we're done. Yeah, okay. So, best file delete. Um, oh, that's. Is that right? It's just delete, isn't it? Uh, let me check. Um, just to do this first, find it. File. Oh, it's a delete there. That throws errors, so I need to catch errors. But it should do the do. Um, okay. Yeah, warning is probably good enough. Okay. That's that. That should do the do.
them in here. Turn it on, we just turn it on, turn it off. Get. What's that going to do? So if we're doing a get on the command line and just throwing out. Double check this. Go get this file. I was checking the global. So yeah, that should be okay. Oh no, it won't. Because we haven't activated yet. That's the problem there. Hmm. Okay, so... Constructor is setting up settings. Got to be very careful about our self healing on the get. So I'm thinking. Thinking we can probably do that. Maybe. Maybe all we need to do is just get the set in. Because we want that.
do we want that we just want that to reflect what we think it should do or what it is doing and are they the same thing they're not it's the problem with having a what we want it to do and what it is doing that's a pain in the butt think I think we can probably No, actually. We should use that there. Let's double check what we're doing in here. Right, okay, that's true. So, if we're doing all that stuff there, Farm matches. Farm doesn't match, but we will do. Okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do. Is right here on the activate. is update the setting for the once. The problem is that blinking flag in the file. If I go through here, if the file exists, but it's turned off in the global settings.
Actually, let's do it that way. So, we've already set a global setting, match reality, match global, match global, don't know, but we have a file. Okay, all right, I've got a plan. What I'm going to do. Auto start equals get auto start, which will be based off of this. Actually, don't even need the variable. If Get auto start is not equal to auto start correct it. Settings. Set brilliant. Two. One, two. Stop. So when we do that, that's going to trigger this change here. Then going to re grab and then go and update. Let's see if that builds in times. Cool. Um, How am I going to test that? Uh, so at the moment, we're running. So this is on elementary five. So that's it gone in theory. So at the moment, oh, okay, let me just do that. Enable true. Start state. 
status should say on that file still the same turn it off that file gone Check the status. On. Oh, because it's not been installed. I haven't got that sitting on here yet. So let's try that again. Um, that's there. What's the actual status at the moment? Not running. What is status on? Turn it off. No file. What a start status. Ugh, back on again. And it is. Why? Because the get auto start. It's an initiate thing. Yeah, that's why I was going to. Uh.
Okay. Should really probably pass in the default there. Not use the global, but. Maybe some other time because I've got other things to do on that. I'm going to separate things a bit later. Okay, let's try that. Do you want now? Uh. Is it self? Mm, let's find out. And we don't know, Vala. Uh, this, I think, actually, think about it. Yeah. If it's not one, it's the other. Let's do matter what stop. Chat status for sure. Does the file exist? Yes. Or to start things to this on. Turn it off. File doesn't exist. Chat status. <laughs> it's back on. Makes sense. For sure.
Oh. I'm not doing that on the CLI. Set the setting. Yeah. I think I've made a bit of a problem for myself there by uh, not making it clear that that stuff is all about a file and those functions as opposed to the new setting. Okay. That's what we've got at the moment. Nothing at the moment. So not running. Why is it getting so messed up? Clearly, not had enough coffee. That doesn't make any sense. So now. Okay. Oh, we haven't got settings yet, have we? <laughs> um. Here we have. Here we have.
Yes. Let's do this and see what happens. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. I do want to get the synthesis of both. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Let's see what whether the setting is actually being set without going to decomp. So that's on at the moment. It's not running. Oh, I oh know, yeah, no, that's fine. That's on. Off. I was missing, doesn't matter. Status off. So that's still not there. Normal status not running. Oh, not there. Still off. On. File is there. Status on. So is that a better way to do it then? Just use the setting. Don't get it. Is why that was overriding.
test here. So at the moment, it's on. We have the file. Let me not run it. Let's turn it off. Don't have file. Status not running. Still don't have the file. I just made sure that it's the version I'm going to run from the command line. So, uh, behind the scenes, uh, the pipixi does the thing, close it. It should still be running now. File does not exist, that's good. It knows it's off. File does not exist. Stop it. Not running. That still does not exist. Okay, good. All right, I think that's the way we're gonna to have to do it at the moment. Just get the set in. And then here, set the setting and then make reality. And here, get the setting. If reality does not meet with expectation, make it so which triggers that. But that only happens. And it starts. Okay. Uh, what's the time? Oh, so I've got a few minutes to actually do the bit I want to do. Uh, so I want to actually create a UI control for that. So uh, where's that then? It will be in the header. Yeah, also expand. I follow that because I want to do it before that. Okay. So here we have three things. We create a menu item, give it some text. and set a 
ad hoc action name for it. So where does that do its thing? Can't remember. Quickly check that. Um, so we did that, done all that, good there, and then, oh, we've got the setting stuff there, okay. Right, let's do that first. So this is going to connect the settings, um, the global settings as such with whatever happens on this action group. So we're adding an action And the settings is going to take that action and we'll just start and then yeah that won't go back as well. Yeah, okay. I getcha. Um so in the main window we need to hook that up. Is that right? Action prefix, yeah, it's the same action prefix. So it knows that if I create a button, it's going to toggle that to setting. That's fine. Okay. Fine. Uh, let's do. Let's do auto X and two. So start auto expand snippets. What do I call it in the CLI? I say turn auto start of snippet pixie on login on off watch it right so i need to keep it short on that menu item so let's do to start on login okay change this um that does that and now i need to add it to the menu here down the bottom so that actually adds it to the Actual menu grid as the first item. So that's hooking that up into the main window and settings. So in theory, that's everything. Is it? Okay. Let's build. And what is it running? Not running, good.
So at the moment it's not running and we don't have the file. So that means in theory, it's as if new, and if I run it, we'll start logging it off, yeah. And is it still? I file. Toggle. Have file. Toggle off. Don't have file. We're good. Uh, let's do that. Because I do like it to start. I'm going to need that in a minute as soon as I finish up for my actual work day. Uh, okay, so we should have that back up there. We're good. All right, so, however, I do need to build the snap. Uh, but that will take a little bit of time. Yeah. It's going to do, if I do a clean, will I do a clean? It's been a while. I probably should. It's going to take a while though. Let's go rebuild the VM as such. It's not a VM, but. Take a little while. As soon as it's rebuilding the machine and then uh, setting it all up. So, um, okay, so this is elementary six. Uh, let's. Actually, yeah, I can actually leave that up. And here, what have I got? Got version one five two. So I've got the actual version. It's not running. Start equals just check it's on, it is now anyway. Um, and if I do yeah, so that's there. So in theory, that will come back up.
Yeah, so it's up and running now. Are we done yet? No, we're not. Don't know how long it's going to take because I haven't built the snap on here for quite some time. The, um, the LXD container will be quite out of date. I like to use the LXD um, container because it's it is pretty quick in comparison to other means, and um, yeah, it's nice and contained, and you know you've got a clean environment for the build. I wonder how much is in the box. Not a lot, I guess. OBS is taking more than anything. <laughs> Uh, so, is there anything I could do while I'm waiting for that to do its thing? Uh, I guess I can um, make sure everything is using spaces that's like it I think we're good that's recognized it has been spaces uh, you probably can't see it but underneath there each file is using four spaces for indenting so that's good. Probably don't have any cleanup to do on that. I guess I could just check um Let's do this thing there. Some proper changes there in the language files.
really just file numbers. Okay, all right, so that's the snap built. Quickly check this before I move on. Different variations. Auto start on login. That's looking good. Uh, so let's go get it from um, Okay, so um, at the moment I've got the snap already installed. You can see it's that version there, but I'm going to install um, a custom development version now just to test it. So, sudo snap install that file. As classic and it's dangerous because it's my own version. Okay, so now in theory we have a new version of Snippet Pixie installed, um, and we know that. It is running. So I'm going to have to stop that in a sec. And we have an auto start file already. It knows. Oh, yeah, that's going to change now. Let's stop it. Got the status, not running. Let's go start it. Go play with it. We have a setting. It knows it's going to auto start. Now running. And it's on. And the file's there. Turn it off. And I guess that again. File's gone. Status is off. Still running. Because we've got the screen open and all that stuff. And I was not come back. Good. So if we reboot. In theory, it 
in theory, Snippet Pixie will not be running in the background. Let's have a look. It's not. And if I check the status, it says it's not. And if I check auto start, it's not. And if I check the file, it's not there. And if I go into the system settings, Nothing about it. If I start Snippet Pixie in the window, oh, it's still not there. It knows it's off. So it should be running. And in the UI, it's reflecting the same. Job done. Smart. All right. That's me. So as me uh, hit my stop time, I'm going to go and do a meeting. Um, but that's good. Uh, so we've now got uh, some changes here. I just need to uh, commit that to getting everything and push it up. Um, and then do all the packagey stuff later, um, which you don't need to see. Um, it's all very boring, mind you. Not that that was particularly exciting. Um, but anyway, uh, until next time, uh, take care.